What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how you can make money being someone who's a magician or has an interest in magic. This is in no way a definitive list of things and will of course vary from person to person on what's good for them, what's not, but it's a list of things which you could potentially use to make money. So let's get things started and the easiest and quickest way to make money with magic is, you guessed it, sell your decks of cards, magic tricks and things you don't use or anything else you have lying around the house which is collecting dust or stuck in a bottom drawer. Over time, we all collect a mass of items and things which seem to be great at the time and turn out to be rubbish or something we do not use at all. So why not flog it and make some money back from them? As the list is in no particular order, number two is what you're watching this video on, YouTube. That's right, you can make money on YouTube with magic. So on your channel, you need at least a thousand subscribers and over 4,000 watch hours time in the last 365 days. But after that, the world is your oyster. And when I say YouTube, I don't mean going on the platform and creating little videos of your hands doing tricks and exposing magic for people using marketed tricks. What I mean is putting some thought into your videos and subjects and create content people will want to watch. Maybe you created your own trick and you want to share and how to perform with people. You want to create some informative videos about your passion or even a bunch of videos talking about the history of magic or the history of tricks. There's so much possibility for videos on here. Once you pass that minimum requirements by YouTube, you can then get monetized and your channel will then start to earn money. Depending on the content and the audience of your videos, you can look to earn possibly between five to 15 pound per thousand views you, that you get on a video. So making your videos informative, audience gripping and retaining their attention is the key to making money on YouTube. Or failing that, just start to create some Mr. Beast style videos and watch the income streaming in. Next up, we have street performing. I can't speak on this myself in regards to the amount of money you get from doing the, the busking or doing street performing because I've never done it, but I know that people can make a decent amount of income from such things. I know a few musicians who busk on the streets and depending on days you can get anywhere from pennies to hundreds of pounds. It all depends on your location as well and the public who walk past. Get yourself a table set up grab yourself a handful of tricks and perform them to people passing and get them involved. You never know, you could hit lucky and they'll leave you a big fat tip for entertaining them or you could even book you for things like weddings and other corporate events. Next up on the list is restaurants. Everywhere in the world has restaurants and they can always benefit from having a magician there every week or every other week. So what you need to do is try and impress for them and push for that weekly residency. Like most things, sometimes you may need to do a gig or two for free to try and show that the owner would benefit from hiring you to perform for the people there. So why not strike up a deal and say you'll perform a few days, see how it goes, if people enjoy it, then discuss a weekly thing and with a set free. If you are unsure on pricing, why not set a bar or say a certain price that will be set around for a set amount. In six months it can be reviewed and possibly increased to a higher amount which can be discussed upon and agreed. Say from £50 an evening to £100 if the punters are enjoying it. Basically the, the entertainment is keeping them there, spending the money and buying drinks at the restaurant or pub so therefore the restaurant and the owners will benefit from that. Next up is that big one and that is weddings. Another big money maker for a lot of full-time magicians are weddings and corporate events. These are sometimes people's bread and butter performance jobs, which means that they can do what they enjoy doing for a living. Depending on locations in the world and even based on county demographics, the prices that you can make per hour on these sorts of events can vary massively, but a lot of magicians make a good, decent living from these events. Being a wedding photographer and videographer, uh, I bump into quite a lot of magicians at weddings and the sort of, the rates vary, but for a lot of people, it's sort of quite an easy thing to do. You just do your table hopping, so you can have maybe five or seven tricks that you can do for different tables, and you just go through them tricks and that sort of thing. A lot of people do it that way. There's also ways which you can take it from being a magician at the wedding day to an MC. So you basically take charge of the entire day, do some close-up magic, maybe do a bit of stage performing, that sort of thing, and you were there in charge of the day, and. In of course, with doing that, that's an increased fee, so you can make more money off that. Abdul, come closer. Now, sorry for the interruption in the video, but I just wanted to say thanks to everyone so far that has subscribed, liked, and commented on any of the videos on the Magic Channel. In 2024, I tried to progress the channel more and more and have a whole different variety of videos and stuff, so it'd be great if you haven't already to like the, the video itself. That helps it with the algorithm, push it out, 
and also subscribe to the channel that would be absolutely amazing with more subscriptions the the algorithm seems to push out more videos to different people and stuff like that so that would help grow the channel and make it into something greater than what it already is and um, in 2024 we're going to have some nice tutorials some more magic reviews some more deck reviews and loads of other different magic related things as well so i want to try and get the podcast going along and other things like that so if that's something you're into remember to subscribe and keep updating with the video now let's get on with the video so for the next one it's write a book or release a magic product so if you're more of an inventor or a performer or you have a vast knowledge of magic and want to put that down into a written format, why not create a book or put together some magic products to release? These days, releasing a product is super easy so that anyone can do it, which of course means that there's some rubbish produced and also some absolute gems. All you need is your idea, then you can produce a trailer and instructions on your mobile phone and go from there. You can self-release it or there's options to go on magic shops and subject, submit your magic to be sold on their website too, making it very easy for someone to publish their own material. Another avenue is kids parties. This is one which will divide magicians in that some people love to do kids parties and others will hate them. Love them or hate them, there's still a valid source of income for a magician. Get a few kid friendly tricks in your repertoire and then perform at kids parties to get paid. Why not even throw in some adult references which kids won't get and keep the adults entertainment too. After all, they're the ones paying the bills. An easy way to make a bit extra money after the show too is create a little magic pack which creates some, it's got some basic tricks in, maybe it's a deck of cards, a wand, a thumb tip or some cheap magic items which you can sell to parents and the kids who love the magic show and want to do magic too. Now this next one is a little strange one but also a lot of magicians are also in the public and motivational speaking either talking about magic itself with lectures at magic events and clubs or on a larger scale about certain events how they've happened to them and a result of performing magic maybe they got a story about how they've managed to perform for some celebrities or got them to some amazing places like joel m who's become a blue pleated presenter all thanks to him performing magic on tiktok over lockdown and growing a massive following and that has enabled him to reach new heights like that I've seen a lot of other keynote speakers and things like that on TED Talk, so they're magicians and they've took various bits of their knowledge from magic and science and things like that, developed it into a speech and they've been talking that around TED Talk and talking that around the world, so if that's something that you could possibly look into, that's another income stream. So there you have it, that's eight money making avenues that you could go down using magic to generate an income. There's a whole bunch of more different things which you can do which aren't mentioned here such as things like creating your own playing cards and marketing them on Kickstarter, become an affiliate at a magic store and earn money by sharing your links and promoting products like Merchant of Magic for example which I've used for some links in my description in the past or Amazon affiliates or you can even start your own magic club or teach magic to people local to you or even online via Zoom. So what you're waiting for, sell some of your old crappy magic you never use to get some money then take some of the other avenues that I've discussed here to get some extra money. If you're looking to spend some extra money on magic, why not check out some of my other videos which feature some awesome new tricks or decks of cards that you may want to buy and spend some money on. Until next time, see ya.